What's going on guys, well, what was back again with another video for you guys now Just finished work Just seeing the news for Chelsea fans, it's massive The situation between FIFA and the club goes on We've got more news, we've got another event But before I get into the video, make sure you smash the like button, get me to at least 100 likes Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay all tuned while watch Chelsea Nearly 4.6k subscribers man, get me there And shout out to Sazio from Chelsea Echo for hitting me up on this topic, I needed it man, so here we go April the 11th, FIFA and Chelsea will meet to see whether the ban will be overturned. If not, Chelsea can then go to CAS. What did I tell you guys? The Mirror report there and I said, in my opinion, this whole process will be sorted before the summer so we can go to the court and get the ban temporarily you know, suspended so we can buy players in the summer. Now... Obviously, let's just hope FIFA just overturn it. But if not, it just needs to go to court and hope for the best there. So it's some positivity for Chelsea fans right now. This is exactly what we needed. The other day I was speaking about Lewis Campos. It all adds up. Yeah. I saw an article yesterday. I don't know if it's reliable or not. Where Christensen has come out and said Chelsea have accepted the ban. And they want all the play current players to stay at Chelsea. I don't know if it's true or not. I've seen some accounts starting to post it and stuff, but I've only seen one outlet talk about it from his words. So it don't add up. But today, you know, from goal, it, it did come up from Nizar um, that there is a meeting for Chelsea with FIFA to see whether this ban will ever turn. Now, if it's not, as I said, it will be going to CES. And for me, we need to keep positive. You know, this is a positive outcome for us right now. Because if they don't overturn it, the time period to get go to the court, the court, you know, I'm sure they'll see some sense to let us buy in the summer because we definitely need to buy. It. Let's be honest now. Especially Hazard leaving in my eyes, we need to get players in. And some of these players need to go. We've been saying it for years. William, Pedro, Alonso. You know, even likes of Barkley and stuff, they all probably won't go. But we need some of them to go. Cahill, Drinkwater, we need all of them to go. Let's be honest now. And it's going to be very interesting to see how we treat Kala Hasaladoy. It will be very interesting. The boy is starting tonight for England, according to reports. And people are going mad saying, oh, look, he's starting for England, but he can't start for Sari. And calling out Sari and stuff. And I just feel, I totally understand their view. But I just feel the opponent isn't top, top level where, you know, there's so much threat and, you know, obviously there could be a scare. But let's be honest, England, in the qualifiers, they do really well every single time. It's when it comes to the actual competition, they're not there. The pressure piles in and that's when they stumble. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm happy for the boy. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for him. Honestly, I, I want him to play so much. But the way people are going on and comparing to sorry, like, oh, sorry out because of this, sorry out because of that. No, like, it's not right. It's genuinely just not right. I say, let the boy play more minutes for Chelsea this season. And I feel he should be a bigger name next season when Hazard departs. Pulisic comes in. Hopefully, William and Pedro, one of them goes or both of them goes. And let's start fresh, man. I just want to start fresh. Um, so yeah, back to the main point. CES, if the pure meeting doesn't go well for Chelsea, but it's very positive news for us right now. Many people conceding that it's going to be a relegation battle and stuff. I know a bit of exaggeration and banter, but they're just saying that it was going to be bad for the next two seasons at least. Now, players that I want to see come in, loanies I want to see come back. Zuma, Tammy Abraham, you know, Tammy Abraham, the second choice strike, as I was saying, Zuma to come back, forget spending 45 million euros or whatever it was on Ake, yeah, he's class, but that's not the player we need, simply, it's not the player we need, you know, I'd rather give chance to Christensen, Ampadu, Zuma, you know, Luis is, you know, might not extend his contract, who knows what happens, uh, Cahill should be going, but it's all opened up for Chelsea, I cannot predict what's going to happen because one day this could change and then everything that we've been talking about can disappear you know three days ago we we're saying we're not going to buy any players now if this appeal doesn't go right 
go to CES and say, yeah, you can go buy in the summer. It's a different story. We're buying players in 100% because we'll need to invest in the squad, get rid of Deadwood that we don't need and start fresh and go through this transition phase. Whether it's with Sarri or not, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Luis Campos comes into the club. We need a DOF because I always wanted Balak. Whoever it is, we need someone with a football mindset, basically. Yeah, We need someone in the middle of the board and the manager to make sure things go in a positive direction. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my days, this is never going to happen, blah, blah, blah. And it might not. It might not. But in today's world, what we're seeing right now, there is a meeting. So something has to happen. Something positive has to come out of it, no matter what. But yeah, guys, honestly, let me know in the comments below three players you want to see leave Chelsea, realistic ones, and three players you want to see come in. Could include loans, but let me know as well about that. So, international break. Kalao Saradoy plays. It's been so boring. Like, it's been so draining with no football for Chelsea fans. I'm serious. It's been that dead right now. But we've got uh, Cardiff away from home. It's going to be a tough one. And like I said, I, I don't expect anything. I don't really see us winning personally. I'll be happy if we win, but I don't see it happening. Uh, I think we're more focused on Europa. And that's where we need to get Europa League, win the trophy, get the Champions League, whether it's under Sorry or not. Hopefully be able to buy players in the summer. Reinvest. Do well in the Champions League. Qualify for Champions League the following year. And we move. We genuinely just move. But I'm hearing, I'm seeing different things from different people. I don't know what to believe, but this is what's being said right now. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen. Um, but yeah, very big news for Chelsea fans right now. The meeting, April the 11th. Treat that day. I think we've got Europa League that day. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think we've got Europa League that day. It's typical FIFA arrogance, man, how they're doing that. They're doing it on the day that we actually have a match. Typical. They support all Spanish clubs with money. Madrid, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, um, Barcelona, all got their ways. But Chelsea didn't get their way. And I'm happy. I'm seriously so happy that we got a meeting on April the 11th to get this out of the way. We'll say six months, five months. Anything like that, bang, we've got a meeting now. And if it doesn't go, we go to court and we see what happens on that day, man. But yeah, I'm feeling positive. I think we'll buy players in the summer. Chelsea have agreed the ban, but they want a temporary stop to go buy players. That's all we want. And we should be able to do that. Generally, we should be able to do that because of the cases that we've seen in the past. It's not right if Chelsea just get banned. It's simply just not right. But like I said, guys, man, I'm feeling positive. Are you guys feeling positive? Let me know, man. But yeah, like I said, three players in and out. And also let me know. I know I've asked this so many times, but I need to know. If we win Europa and we get Champions League and we're able to buy players, are you sorry in or are you sorry out? Let me know and why. Because I want to know about that. Because I feel it's a different mindset if... If everything goes to plan and we get, you know, Lewis Campos or Balak in, it could change. Let's be honest now. Things could change. He, he's not as stubborn anymore. First six months, very stubborn. Recently, he's been playing, you know, Lofa Sheik, Kalan Saradoy, slowly. Slowly. So, I'm still sorry in, guys. I'm still sorry in. But, slowly, 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 he is letting us down. I mean, many match-growing fans are saying he's, he's, he needs to leave. You know, many tickets still on sale. That's fine. That's just you lot. I support the club, the manager, always. No matter what happens, every single time Chelsea play, I'll support the club. We've been through worse scenarios. Mourinho, last season. You know, even before Roman. We need to remember the good times, the bad times, and always sit together, man. Every fan needs to reunite right now. Obviously, it's not going to happen. You know, you're not going to debate your opinions, but no abuse, man. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
make sure you smash the like button. Sorry if I was repeating myself many times, but it's very, very big news for Chelsea fans right now, man. But yeah, like I said, sorry, no camera at work. Had to let it go, man. But yeah, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and yeah, man, get me to 4.6k subscribers. Worldwide Chelsea, man. I'm out.